Five, no, I, I wanna say five, what do we got, four days or three days? Three days. Three, three and a half days? I'll give you a half day. For just since he's got a half day. Can't be letting the in there out of the house. Expensive. Okay, expensive the waste of there. All right, so we got three and a half days. If you guys don't know what's going on here, you probably should pause the video real quick, go back two videos and actually watch how we got to this point. This gentleman right here is Trick Tense. If you guys do not follow him on YouTube, you need to go check him out. I will link him in the very top of the description. Go check him out. He is the one that flew all the way down here to help me build out this tin rig. Yes, this tin rig. Now today he's told me he's going to get most of this thing done. He got it painted yesterday for the most part. I did act, I did help a little bit. I've been at the office the last three days. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be here all day and the next day and the next day. So I am excited about that. I get to help. Got, I'm, I, I think I'm gonna try painting the engine myself. You, you hear me on that? I'm gonna paint the engine myself. I'm gonna hold you to that. He's gonna, I'm gonna, he's gonna hold me too, but he says he's gonna do the entire deck today. So this front, this front area used to be a live well, and right now I think he's actually just riveting it. And uh, are you weld? You're gonna weld that in? A I'm just bit gonna patch up where the drain holes at. We've already welded it? up the drain. Yeah. So for some reason, back in the day, they thought it was smart to put two live welds on these boat and not put any storage, which is also really funny. This storage compartment right here, this this janky ass, shit, this weird rod box is not even it's like what seven foot minimum seven foot so the, the thing is is none of my rods will really fit in there so after a little bit of discussion he's going to cut this piece off this right here re-weld the little piece on there we're going to turn this into some sort of storage because there's not a lot of storage on this boat and i'll just roll the rods on deck you know it send it you know what i mean jelly bean that's it i'm excited oh we got to put another coat of paint on the boat i, I already showed the decals i'm Jack, I'm excited. I got faith in you. We got three days left. This Craigslist build is gonna be good. And we're also gonna have like, it's not that much money into it. It's not that bad. It could have been a lot more. We tried to do it on a, we're balling on a budget. You know, my, my aunt always told me, I got a champagne taste on a beer budget. So I tried to flop it around. It didn't pan out too well. So, All right, what's the word? I can do it. No, I assume you're gonna try and put it in a video and have it be for a limited time. Yeah. Okay, and then for that time, I'm gonna have to take the sales off these items. I got you. Got on all of them. Okay, so you can uh, do it though. That's all I care about. I don't care how you. Yeah. Just tell me you can do it. You got it? It's 50% off? Yeah, yeah, I just need to know the dates. Yeah. I got you. I'll let you know later. Good. 50% off. Lunkers 50 or just Lunkers? Lunkers 50. Okay, got it. All right, so you heard the man. Lunkers 50. Everything apparel related on GooginSquad.com right now. Link to the very top of the description. Go to GooginSquad.com. Use code Lunkers 50 to save. 50% off of all apparel. We never do this. I was just, it's kind of nice. I get to be in the office and be like, all right, we need to do this. We need to get rid of these items. Let's do it. Our guys and gals out there, the app, this stuff right here, I'm telling you, all, everything. But dude, I still got tags on it. Look, everything. Everything down to polos. I'm talking like, look at this thing. Why wouldn't you want to go out on a date in this thing? Look how clean that is. Those little tiny clutches all over it. Look at that. American? You need an American? Don't worry, we got you. Look at that. That thing's clean. Polos, shirts, long sleeve apparel, Everything. If you want to try it out this year, chance, go to GooganSquad.com. Use code LUNKERS50 to save 50% off all your apparel. That's going to include hats as well. So I love you guys. I actually cut the hole for the recessed foot pedal tray. And when I did, I had fun and dug that out. But it's got a big crack Holy right there. What's yeah. that from? I guess just stress. I'm gonna have to fix that. And uh, I'm gonna have to alter these, cut out a little bit of this and add some extra support slower down here. And also support this deck. How often do you see them, them crack like that? Uh, it's hard to say, man. Not not very often. <laughs> really? Not down inside of there like that, no. What's that from, just hitting waves, you think? I guess so. Uh, a lot more of the damage to your hull happens from being trailered. Could have been from that three hour drive of you pulling it with a diesel. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. Does that thing fit well? It does, but like I was saying, that it doesn't drop all the way down. So you to, what do you got to you gotta cut? You have to cut some of this out? Yeah, just over here on the corner, I'm going to have to notch a little bit out, and I'll cap it and plate it, and then I'll re-weld this and probably put some extra support. See? Here. This is why you're f***ing here. This is definitely See, something that's that... That's right there. I could, like, how the f*** am I going to look at that and be like, yeah, that doesn't look right, but I don't know how to Fix it. No, we're gonna support this deck too, so that's not spongy, like a kickstand down oh, here. Yes, yeah, since we See? cut through the ribs. Man, I, I'm, I'm glad. See, I'm glad you're here, bro. <laughs> we're gonna get her fixed up.
So I just made it back from my errands. I've, I've been once again. I've been gone most of the day, but I, I'm good now. Look, look at this steering wheel. Thing is killer, man. <laughs> I gotta tighten it down. But look at this. I got my little knob. I was thinking about it. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be so hot because this is metal. Yeah. But these are these aren't metal, so it'll be fine. Oh, that's awesome. Cat Rob. <laughs> That's cool. Look at them switches. Those look good, don't they? Yeah, cool. Good and green. You think they're gonna fit? You're right. It's six panel. Look at that. That's gonna look good. This thing is actually pretty cool. That's fine. Isn't that good? Old fucking raggedy right there. Look at this thing. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me. That's the first fucking bass boat you've ever seen with a pirate steering wheel. I thought it was funny at first, but I kind of was. I'm digging it now. That's cool. As <laughs> oh, the question. You think it's actually gonna fit on that? I didn't even think about that. It should fit on there. I'll pop it off and look at it. I think it'll work. Dude, this thing's sick. I'll be disappointed if it doesn't work we'll make it work <laughs> so since i've been on a ran errand for him for him now for myself <laughs> i actually had to go to the lawyer so i went to the lawyer ran errands but is, is have you told him anything or what's what's which what you've done here um and do i need to teach you some some, some painting skills or no yeah we gotta paint that for sure look at look that, that. He's, he's so got it um i <clears throat> pretty much finished up the whole front deck got all the Painting around the hatches done get ready to install the metal work cut out the recessed foot pedal tray tell me did this so right here, so he's, he's put in this thing right here so we can still access the wiring that goes up to the trolling motor and everything up here. So we'll take this panel off, pull it off. But this used to be, this was literally like, this is, this is, I'm excited about this. Look how much space this is. It's like normal bass, but like my bass boat, my big brick didn't even have a box this big. Like just one singular box this big. I'm excited. Fresh. Look, you got this thing painted. So fresh. I was about to touch it, but then I realized <laughs> it's probably a little fucking wet. Okay, what do you need me to do? Engine? You want me to get the... Just waxing. I even got a fuel filter. No, a, a water uh, water separator, a new one. This boat's gonna be fucking. It's actually looking at it. It's all aluminum. There's no wood in this thing anywhere. Period. That's so pretty sick. I thought there was gonna be some wood in the transom or something, but it's completely solid aluminum. So you did a good job picking it. Yeah, I know. Again, those are my skills. Picking boats off Craigslist. Yeah, I've done a lot of work. What do you guys don't don't give me that shit? That, that thing is really nice. Oh, my steering wheel? Oh, you yes. like that? I love it. <laughs> Beautiful. We need to we need to go to Lowe's. I don't have a an Allen key this big. I need I don't have one in there. I've got all these Allen keys and not a single one. No, I don't have one a single. I have like 30 in there, not a single one. You, so you got so much at your house, but you live 30 minutes from me. It's not gonna help us. But yeah, if we want to, we just need to go to Lowe's. No, we just need to go to Lowe's and grab one. Is all. So I think we just take one of these. I'll change. Oh, you know, this thing is gonna work on. No, nah, we're gonna make it work. I think it's good. It's a good choice. My Amazon. Good choice. I got it on Amazon. All right, Carlos, the steering wheel stuck. Stuck. I need. I need you to get in there and just absolutely. We're gonna end up ripping the damn dash off. That's what's gonna happen with the steering wheel. You just gotta pull it really hard. <laughs> Let's get your part wheel up there. <laughs> you think that's actually gonna fit? I think I, it's gonna. I need perfect. to know where the part wheel's at. Oh, it's up there. Yo, dude, it's gonna work. <laughs> that's gonna work. Tell me that fits. Dude, are you kidding me? I want to get a freaking pirate suit. That was a good choice. Good choice. <laughs> Amazon special. Amazon? Right that was shit. Amazon. I bought that thing on Amazon, like in the middle so of the night. Good, I was like, man. that thing's going to work. Sweet that is awesome. Right. You cannot tell me. It works. See, it's real it works. Yes, the wheel mira, works. Mira. Look at that thing. You cannot tell me that is not one of the coolest things we've added onto this. Yes. That is the Amazon purchase of the year right there. Now I just need to go get an Allen key that actually fits it. No, I get, just, we'll hold that thing out. Oh, It'll run to the store, yeah. Thing's okay. massive. So I did go to Academy and I picked up a different fuel water separator. And from what I could find out, I, I'm pretty positive. It's fairly simple. Look, this is all from the photo. So I think it's going to take us like two seconds because it's the same thing from what I could tell. And then we just put the, it should be easy. I, th I mean, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure it's going to work. We just got to remove this one. These lines look good too, huh? I think, the, I think all those I, lines look good. I think the lines are good. And we this was actually replaced in, what was it, 2000, 2018? Yeah. It was two, okay. But it is held on by riveted, okay. Thank God I got you here with some rivets, huh? Quick update, gotta have Teflon tape. Don't have any, gotta pick some up tomorrow. Plum, plumber's tape. But it is, it is gonna work, I ain't too concerned about it. At least the trim works. <laughs> this guy may have never taken a prop off ever. Look what was inside there. It's like years of fishing line, a bird nest. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 
I can't even get it off. Yeah, look right here. I got this thing pretty much sanded down for the most part. Pulled that thing off. First thing I see is like a little, a piece of like, well, it was, it was braid that was dangling off the back. It's pretty crazy. There we go. The thing is, I told I told everybody I was gonna paint the engine, but now I'm like looking at the paint job that I did yesterday. You know, like in this area, I, was, I didn't get the, you know, like the drip effect, but I may have like, see, it's still, it just doesn't look right. And then you look at the side that he did. I mean, he does, he does this a lot more than I do, clearly. And it looks a lot better. I mean, look, look at what he painted today. Look how even that thing is. So along with the cowling cover that we filmed and actually did last night. So I think it's probably best because you already told me you're probably gonna have to what? Sand the other side that I up okay, right maybe a be honest yeah so you're gonna have to so why would i want to cause us more you more work when you can just do it right i mean i did all the bitch work again see you see that you did. You sanded it yeah up. see i sanded it down and I, I did all the bitch work i got it just leave it the trick tins to do the, shit the right way i can hear it it's a bilge pump Okay, so bilge pump. Here's this one. I think that one's like either that's a fuel. Oh, that's the bilge. That's the bilge pump. What's this one? Oh, this is aerators. Those are aerators. Oh, this one actually says it says ACC. Maybe for the 12 volt area, or for the cigarette lighter. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of shocked. My HOA has not called and said, "What in the actual fuck are you doing in your driveway?" I'm actually very shocked they haven't, because they give me they give me shit about once a week, and I always respond with the same thing. Please get a day job. So this is a uh, pretty much a giant rat's nest. I don't know anything about anything in life. I pretty much don't know shit about. F so I'm I'm just here. You, did you ever watch Ozark? Okay, so, uh, he got the reference. But I guess some of these have to be connected to the fuses, and some of them don't. I mean, that just looks like a big daisy chained IED mess to me. I, I don't know. But he says this is going to take him a few hours just to get this one six panel or six. Yeah, I guess six panel, six gauge, six panel. Yeah, in there. How are you guys doing? This is the next day or the day after. I'm gonna tell you guys, he actually stayed up about 30 minutes afterwards, um, after we got done filming last night, and he routed two wires from the bilge pump to the front. That's pretty much what he re realized was the issue, I believe. Now, I, I have to come out here, and I haven't shown you guys any of this, nor have I showed you guys, I just picked up this truck yesterday. So this is, I bought this truck. It's for House of, our, our company House of, our, which owns Guggen. Okay, so we're gonna be giving away a brand new 2023 LTZ. Yes, we're going to be, Guggen is gonna be giving this thing away. It's gonna be starting in mid-September. That's pretty much all the details I can give you guys. But when I mean loaded out, it is a Z71 LTZ completely loaded out. It's it's really nice it really is so brand new truck so this will be given away in mid-september or we're going to announce the giveaway for you guys i mean it's going to be a brand new truck i'm going to have it wrapped in some some googling stuff then i'm actually sending it over to lojo ao and norm over there in bama area and uh, they're going to do some videos with it maybe jack it up i don't really know what they're going to do like lift it and put tires on i don't know exactly what we're going to do to it but this is going to be happening but i wanted to get something done today and that being this i actually got an elk tag yes i got an elk tag and i'm pretty jacked about it we got a unit 15 elk tag in new mexico which is a pretty good unit i've hunted 13 I, I've heard about 15, so I got one this year. I was very fortunate to find a landowner tag. There was one available. I didn't get it drawn for anything, so I bought a landowner tag. Hey, we got to get this bugger. Uh, we got to get it side. I, I need to get 60. Dialed in at 60, and this is a nice flat little area. I haven't also told you guys, but I bought a another chunk of land, which is literally right here. Uh, I've been, you guys know the land in Oklahoma. If you guys have been on the channel for a little while, I, I had a, almost a thousand acres up there. I pieced it off. It's just one of the type, I'm just, I like to, you know, don't want to throw your money in, in one piece. That's what I was doing, but I bought this. Yes, it's just trees right now. So those trees at some point, I'm going to be building a house right there. And this one's going to be much different. I'm putting like a 3,500 square foot open bay garage on there. For all the toys, I'm, I'm sick and tired of having all my sprawled out everywhere. So I got my boats, my RV there, my archery. Sh I can actually have like an area to shoot archery. Like I'm literally here now because I have nowhere to fucking shoot inside in. So my HOA fucking suck. They, they do suck. They suck. So that's why we did this. All right, 60 with this, 60 with this. Look at that, how nice that is. Gonna be cool, one of you guys is gonna get out there and win a brand new like $70,000 truck. It's gonna be kinda cool, I love doing that kind of stuff. It's gonna be awesome.
I'm gonna go ahead and do you guys a favor. You guys see these things? If you guys ever get an archery, this is a five. This is a five pin. It's a rolling five pin. Okay, it's a spot dog. It's a good. I've been using it for years. So you guys see these numbers? You guys have to choose your numbers after you get dialed at 60. But you need to cut it off. Like they make these tapes way too big, way too big. You need to cut the left hand off. If you don't, you are going to you are going to be so mad at yourself because it's you only get one of these tapes. For some reason, they only give you one tape because every human being jacks up stickers okay just made it back over to the house it is like 9 30 or so he's been out here working ever since i was out shooting the bow and he's got it all figured out which is probably a good thing since his electrical is god dude it looks like an absolute rat's nest in there yeah there's a lot of uh, harnesses in there but Dang. we got it figured out so he was having issues what was it with the Here's a here's a two. You ran God, man. Yeah, these two right here. Like two new wires for the actual uh, village pump and then the live well pump. And these are all the lights uh, for the nav lights, rear and bow. All right. so. <laughs> We gotta figure it out. It's probably like the least fun thing to actually watch and or film and to do. Just to be completely honest with you. He's been working on this wiring for probably four to five hours now in total. And he's still sitting in the same spot at the boat. All right, so after some sanding, we're pretty much, we're, we're to, a, to a point while wow, that was blown out again. Oh my God, he's ran into the fucking pole. Holy shit, that just happened. I was looking at the screen, I ran into the pole. <laughs> oh, f okay, so. <laughs> Oh God! So this has been saying it looks rough when you look at it, but it is smooth. So he's gonna do all the painting this time. The other side, we I did a little bit of research, and it's not. It, did we put it on too thick the first time? You think? I think it just had a lot to do with it, it wasn't like even coats. So. And that's it was my fault. Um, I'm yeah. not pointing any fingers. Yeah, you could point. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I get it. It's my it's my fault. So I'm gonna let him do it because is it you think? Just be second coat, so maybe three max. Yeah, three max. I got faith. You know, I'm gonna grab the other camera. I'm gonna let time lapse just roll now. So he just painted, he just repainted the boat. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it looks about 400 times better than it did. Like it's now looking pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks really good. It is still slightly wet. Now he just found out though, he read on the back of the can, it said he's got a what? Recoat re within what? Within one hour or I had to wait 48 hours, but we don't have to wait 40 hours. So we got one hour. How many days we got left? Oh, Two? Man. One and a half. We got one and a half days. So we don't even have 48 hours left. So he's got to recoat it now. I think it's a smart choice. I think it's looking good though. What do you think about these back sides of the, the red down in there? I think I'm just gonna. Think I'm just gonna have to live with it? I'll get in there and try to paint the best you can. <laughs> My God, look at that rat's nest over there. That is what we would call a cluster. Right there, and I just stuck my hand in the paint. Right, there. My, my apologies. <laughs> that's what it looks like when I use it. That, yeah, that's 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 anybody who uses a, a spinning reels only. This is what you end up when you first time using a bait caster. It's nothing but just a cluster. You nervous? A little bit. Your whole reputation's on the line right now. <laughs> no pressure, man. Come on. Your whole reputation on that spray. Yeah, it still looks black. Doesn't look much different. It's black though. All right, so Matt was underneath the boat. You know, just just tagging, just tagging the boat, spray painting, and and come across. But guys, remember when we bought the boat? The guy told me that there's no cracks, doesn't leak, no problems, phenomenal. Come to find out, remember I got home and I saw the one in the front. He's like, ah, it's no big deal. That's pretty normal. Remember these? These things are all cracked. He's already welded those. See those right there? Well, underneath the boat, not only did he find a crack, but the guy had what? Fixed it. Uh, it had been repaired before, so he knew there was a crack in here. Especially if he's original owner. Uh, he uh, he lied to you. This was a one boat owner, so the guy lied straight to my face. It's just, it's Craigslist. I mean, what else can I expect? How bad is it though? You can see here, that's where the new crack's at and that's where it was repaired. And you can tell it's repaired because it was welded from the bottom. But I'm gonna throw a bead over that crack right there, get her fixed up. Is that pretty much the only one you see? Oh my God, them bump boards are gonna be, they're in real rough too. shape. God dang. All the, dude, I could, oh my God, I could see them. Did you, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did you see it back behind? I like, it. Yeah, you're gonna need some new bump boards. Dude, those bump boards are. All right, I'm about to go, what is it, a two by four? Is it a two by four? I'm about to go to Lowe's and get one right now. I legit am, because that's That is, that's not gonna work. Look at this, look how, look how bad this is. This is not gonna fly. Look at this. Oh, look. It's worse. Oh my God, that one doesn't even have screws in it, dude. They're all rusted out all the way through. It gets worse? Dude, I can even see in the back. This guy 
and lied like crazy all the way in the back there's new screws in it so he tried to he tried to yeah he repaired that boat he tried to oh my god ah, all right so i'm gonna get a measurement i'm gonna go get two two by fours some treated ones i guess i need to get some carpet too huh what you gotta put that back on. <laughs> oh i love craigslist all right, so lucky me. I get to do the trailer because we don't have time for that. We can't even take the boat off the trailer. We were originally going to. I guess I'll just have to do it when I take the boat out for its first maiden voyage because I haven't even driven the boat yet. So I need three 10-footers and some carpet and some staples. Made a trip to Lowe's and I grabbed actually, I guess this is an indoor outdoor rug. Uh, it looks like I'm about to build my own putty green, but I'm, I'm, I've got three two by uh, two by four by tens. I gotta cut one of them in half. And this is gonna be the, I guess this is pretty much what it's gonna end up looking like. These are gonna be my bump boards. Yes, we went, I went with green as in like AstroTurf green. It probably would not look good on any other boat that had red in it, but this one's hopefully not, you're not gonna see a stick, like any red tomorrow, I promise you in the next video. Actually, I don't promise you. This guy right here promises you that there will not be any more, any more red on this boat come tomorrow, I hope. By the time you guys see the next video, these bump boards though, I, I, I'm not gonna, they're not gonna get put on right now. I also have something right here, which I have to actually, I'm gonna get a stencil for the wheel wells and try to redo this carpet because it's gonna be trash as well. Matter of fact, the other side doesn't, it doesn't have anything on. It. It's just there. just one lag, lags, uh, well, what is on the other side, actually? Is there f***ing anything? I don't think there is, is there? Yes, there's a half. Okay. And there's one screw. There, there's one screw. Look at that. That's pretty solid. Can you see? Yeah, look at that one screw right there. I can't believe Coffee did that to you. I just realized I sat on f***ing wet paint. <laughs> so I stood up and my ass cheeks got stuck to the boat. Can you tell there's a line on my ass? Is it pretty? Know. Is there a f***ing line on my ass? I can't see it. A little bit of a line on my ass, I guess. Damn, that's clean. More vacuum shots, baby. This time it's at uh, this time it's at 9:30 or so at night. I'm showing how how, how useful I am in this project. It. You got any grunt work? Call me, I got this. I'm, I'm usually use, useless on everything else. So sad. I think we've all figured out what I'm gonna be doing over the next, uh, I don't know, probably eight hours tomorrow, maybe four. It won't take me that long, right? It'll pretty much just be, I'll, I'll be doing all the, all the, all the, all the scraping because I'm not really that talented like this gentleman. But it pretty much, it was a, it was a family ordeal, but now I guess it's not. The girls decided to go back inside. This is one of the biggest points of this. It's like, this is why you came down was for this right here. Yes, we're uh, hitting the light at the end of the tunnel now. And I, yeah. I feel like it's pretty much time to say goodbye to everybody on this episode because I think they got to wait to see the next up. So, I think this is going to be what, part three? We have a day and a half starting in the next video. I'm going to tell you guys right now, that's all we got left. So I do love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me over on this channel. Stay tuned. The final episode is coming up next. Big it. Oh!